Okay, now, so what we've done is we've clearly, we've, we've taken this paste and it's now a really good consistency. It holds its shape very well. This is the toilet paper, the glue, the fresh boiled water, and a little bit of the paint, right? We made that sort of mix of that rough colored paint. And then what we've done is I've just made one here. So all you do is you take a shape and uh, there's one that I've kind of done. And I like to take like an old tooth, uh, toothbrush, an old paintbrush, something that has some bristles on it. And what you do is you form it roughly and then you take the, the paintbrush to finish it off. So like, let's see. So like, here's kind of a, a basic rock shape. And then what you do is you take your toothbrush. Oops. Hello, Paul. Uh, it is a, this is a paintbrush. This is not a, uh, this is not a toothbrush. And then, so what you do is you kind of just take this sort of wacky old brush and you say, okay, there's like some little fissures in the rock over here. Maybe there's a little spot over there. And what you want, the, the bristles give it that sort of rough, I don't know if geonosis is necessarily lava, but you kind of get the idea. There's, there's, a, there's a certain very primeval look to the rocks. And so that's what I'm trying to capture with the brush. And you just go around the brush and then really sort of, sort of just let your mind wander. So if you can see here, that's what I did with these. So that's how you get these shapes and formations. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make, let's see, this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven rocks on it. Uh, this one here is a little bit smaller. It's a little bit smaller, but let's go with, uh, I don't know, make a bunch of them. You can always make as many as, as you can. And then once they dry, you've got them to use for other projects. And remember, the foil is great because it, they're gonna just pop off real easy. It's almost like a, like a cookie sheet with cookies, okay? So just form them on this. And remember also, depending on the, the heat of your environment, uh, it's gonna take anywhere between three to 24 hours for these to set, but it's well worth it because once they set, they are very hard, very hard indeed, all right? So let's make another one here. So I'm gonna take another lump and uh, we're gonna make a, maybe a fairly decent sized one. And maybe I want this rock to look a little bit more like oblong. Okay, like an oblong rock or something like that. All right, maybe it's got a little ridge to it or something like that, okay? And then we're gonna just take this brush again. Just kinda, there, and there is no, obviously, this is, this is your rock, so you, know, you do it how you want. You know, I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of trying to match uh, stuff I've already done, but you really can't mess up rocks. I mean, you're just, you're just making rocks, essentially. And uh, maybe that brush is a little bit too much at times, so I've got this other one, and I'm just trying to stipple it. I, I'm just trying to stipple the surface. Mem mem make sure to sort of undercut them at times. Sometimes the rocks have those little those little parts underneath, all right? And you wanna do that, all right? And not every rock, particularly on this planet, is gonna be, uh, you know, there's gonna be all kinds of divots in them and stuff like that. So you wanna, you kinda wanna make it really uneven and kinda like that, right? And then, you know, all right, there's always kind of some craggy looking thing over there. So you know, do that. Maybe that's a little bit more like that. And there's another rock, okay? So I'm just gonna make a whole bunch of these and uh, stay tuned for the next part because in the next part, we're gonna start putting all this together and really start going into finish mode. So once these are dry, we're gonna adhere them to the, to the surface of this diorama. And then we're gonna start having a lot of fun. This is gonna be the part I think everybody wants, the surfacing, the paprika, the paint, the finished paint, the, the, the granules and all those things. So stay tuned and uh, have fun making the rocks and we'll see you in the next part soon.